Hello, this is Anna, the daytime bedtime Bible story from the King Saul, about King Saul. Uh, King Saul uh, chased David, 1 Samuel chapter 18 through 23. By killing the giant Goliath, David became a hero. God's people loved him. God's people loved him. I'm sorry. <laughs> God's people loved him. King Saul became, uh, King Saul became jealous of David and uh, even eventually tried to kill him. Uh, Saul and his Saul and his soldiers chased after David and uh, hunted for him everywhere. Yeah, hunted for him. But David and the brave men who went with him uh, were protected by God and Saul couldn't catch them. Saul couldn't catch them. Yeah, so let's see how David gets, uh, gets away from uh, Saul. You may be surprised. Yeah. Go. David and Jonathan. Uh, 1 Samuel chapter 18, 1 through 4 and 20. King Saul had a son named Jonathan. Jonathan was a prince. He, prince, he and David were be best friends. He even gave David his coat. Jonathan knew his father wanted to hurt David, David. so Jonathan helped David run away and, uh, and hide from Saul. Uh, that was a brave thing for Prince Jonathan to do. If David became the next king, Jonathan would never be king of Israel. Yeah, so best friends help each other. Best friends help each other. Do you have a best friend, actually? Yes, I have my best friend, too. So what could you do to help your friend? Uh, if you help each other, you love each other, too. Jonathan's son. Yeah. First Samuel uh, 31, uh, second Samuel uh, or Chapter 1, 1 through 11, and 5, 1 through 4, and chapter 9, chapter 9, 5. One day, King Saul and his son Jonathan died in a battle against the enemy. When David, David heard this, he was very sad. Soon afterward, afterward David became king. He always took care took care of his best friend, Jonathan's son, Mubiboset. Mubiboset was crept in both feet. Yeah, David loved God. David loved God and wanted to please him. But one time, David made a big mistake. Let's see what happened. Yeah, yeah one time, he's a really good uh, king, but the next story, let's go, is to be big and heavy, so I don't control it easily. David does wrong. Second Samuel chapter 11 through 12 and 13, Psalm 31, 51. David usually went to a war with his soldiers, but one time he stayed home and got into big trouble. He took another man's wife as his own. The woman's name was Beth, uh, Bathsheba. Then David went, sent the man into battle to be killed. That was really wrong. When David realized how wrong he had been, he, wa he was truly sorry. He asked God to forgive him, and God did. God will forgive us. Yes. 
if we are truly sorry for what we've done. Um, we've done wrong and ask his forgiveness. Yeah, we have lots of mistakes and make the wrong to others. But uh, God always waiting to forgive us. Yeah, a wise woman. Second Samuel chapter 21 and the 14 through 22 verse. Joab, Joab, David's general, and his army were trying to catch it to a troublemaker. They were digging under the wall of a city to make it fall down. Then a wise woman inside the city called down to Joab, What are you doing? We are here. We are trying to capture a troublemaker. Joab said the wise woman told the city leaders that there was a troublemaker hiding in their city. So the leaders ca care, uh, captured and killed the bad man. When Joab heard this, he took his army and went home. The city was saved. Yes. And we don't even know this lady's name, but we remember, we remember her because she was brave. Yeah, though a woman so have a brave mind, God always helped her. The wise man, yeah, more time, see now. The wise man, yeah, here. David was king for 40 years. He had many, many sons, but, but it was his son Solomon who became king when David died. When David died, uh, Solomon knew that wise kings make good decisions. He prayed and asked God to make him wise. So that he could understand God's laws. God heard his prayer, God heard his prayer and made him the wisest wisest man who ever lived. So any anyone of us can ask God to make uh, make us wise. Yeah, I need uh, uh why why wisdom and uh, he will. Let's see, let's see how Solomon's wisdom helped two women. Yeah, there are two uh, women's story. The, that wise decision is uh, really famous. Let's go. Yeah. The Whose Baby, First Kings, chapter 3, 16 through 28. Two women brought women Two women brought a baby to Solomon. Each woman uh, said the baby was uh, hers. Solomon knew just what to do to find out who the uh, real mother was. He said he, uh, he could cut the baby in half and give one part to each woman. Yeah, cut the baby. Is it right? No, it's really scared to mother, real mother. But one woman pointed to the, the other woman and said, oh, no, don't hurt the baby, give the baby to her. Then Solomon knew the woman who said this was the real mother. So it will be a really famous story to the world. So Solomon wasn't really going to hurt the baby. What uh, was he trying to find out? Yeah, real mother. So let's go the other story. Yeah, two kingdoms. First Kings uh, chapter chapter twelve uh, twenty and sixteen chapter sixteen twenty nine through thirty three chapter seventeen verse one. After Samuel, David, and Solomon died, God's people were, uh, God's people were split, split uh, into two kingdoms, Israel in the north and Judah in the south. 
King Ahab ruled, uh, King Ahab ruled Israel. He did many things that God said were wrong. He worshipped worshipped idols and did more evil than any of the kings before him. So God sent Elijah the prophet to teach Ahab a lesson. Elijah told Ahab that there would be no rain for many years. This made Ahab very angry. Yeah, so Ahab and his wife Isabel wanted to kill Elijah, but God wanted him to live. Let's see how God uh, prepared uh, protected Elijah. Yeah, let's go. It's the tenth, eleven. Yeah, Elijah runs away from King Ahab. First King seventeen, verse seven through fifteen. Elijah had to run away uh, from Ahab and uh, camp near a, a brook. God sent birds to bring the a prophet food here food that's the real so funny story the blackbird just bring his food when the brook dried up god told elijah to go ask a certain woman for food i only have enough left for one meal for me and my son she said elijah said uh, cook for me first, and you will be all right. So she did. First, cook first for Elijah. It's a hard decision, but uh, she did. The woman uh, believed what Elijah said, and guess what? After she fed Elijah, she never ran out of her food. Yeah. I believe this. And uh, whose God is real God? Whose God is real God? Yes, let's go. Uh, first King, uh, chapter 18, 1, and 15 through 24. Three years passed with no rain. There's no, no rain. Finally, God told Elijah to go uh, meet King Ahab. Uh, there you are, you big troublemaker, uh, said the, the king. Who is the troublemaker? Yeah, not Ahab, he told to Elijah. But uh, said the king, but it was really the king who had caused the trouble. Yeah, here. Yeah. Let's see whose God is real. Elijah said, so the king's prophets built one altar to their god, and Elijah built an altar to his god. They put offerings to on each of them. Then they prayed and waited to see whose god would, uh, whose god would answer their prayers by uh, sending fire to burn up the sacrifice here. Wow. So what do you, what do you suppose Elijah was up to? Yeah, the fire from heaven. First uh, Kings eighteen twenty three four through to, uh, forty six. Uh, the king's prophets, the king's prophets, uh, screamed yet. Yeah, the king's prophets screamed yet. Uh, their fake gods to send fire. No fire came. Elijah teased. Uh, prayer louder they did, but nothing happened. When they stopped, Elijah had water poured over everything on the, on the altar he'd built. Then he prayed to God in heaven to send fire. Fire came down. It uh, burned up the offering the the stones and the water then the people knew elijah's god was the most powerful god so when elijah prayed again uh, it began to rain how do you think the king felt about that yeah so, so 